So we, uh, we drove most of the way up to our place and we got stuck at the last little drive and it's a biatch. So we're sledding our stuff up. We used these for the snowmobiles last year, pulling our equipment and supplies up to our place behind snowmobiles. So they work pretty well. Today's mission, if we accept it after doing this, is to install a Picasola, I think that's how you pronounce it, Picasola wind turbine, wind turbine, so that we can augment our solar because uh, we have 14 inches of snow coming in the next three days and uh, I'm hoping that we can keep generating some power even when we have covered snow or solar panels. So it'll just be a little trickle charge, but it'll be enough to get us going. All right, you ready to keep going? Let's go. Let's make it happen. <laughs> Dogs are going crazy. I like it when you do it better than me. If you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe, and get notifications so that you can receive more content like this from here in Las Vegas. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, the snow is killing me. It's coming. So we bought a two inch diameter steel pipe. According to, According the, to the directions from Picasola or whatever it's called. And uh, that is too large. It uh, really should be uh, about an inch and inch and a half, maybe inch and three quarters tops. So that is not gonna go on this pipe, no matter how much I want it to. I'm either gonna have to replace the pipe, which sucks, or or. Uh, somehow grind it down in size. But I really don't want to take that much off. Ooh, it sucks. Yeah. Yeah, they always say, you know. Size matters. <laughs> yeah, that's not what I was thinking, but that's okay. <laughs> you can think that. Uh, yeah, it's just, it's just not, it's just too big. Uh, that's what she says. I can't fit it in the hall. Yeah, it's weird. It's a two inch interior <laughs> diameter, not two inch exterior diameter. So no, uh, no wind turbine this trip. Darn it. Yeah. Perfect weather for it, too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Till next time. So, we're up here at our off grid camp on Mount Charleston in Nevada, and as I said, we're off grid. We are 100% reliant upon solar and our generator to provide power year round. 
And in the winter, that becomes a problem because we don't get as much sun in the winter months. And when we have snow, we have to constantly come up here and clear the snow off the solar panels so that we can generate power. So today we're going to attempt to install a Picasola 400 watt, 24 volt wind turbine and augment what we have already with, the, uh, with some wind and be all green and loving to the planet. Okay, so uh, we have already kind of made sure that we have everything we need in order to make this work. Primarily because we found out we didn't have everything we needed the first time we went to go install this. So um, everything's kind of unboxed and I'll kind of run through what the process is that we're going to follow. So I bought this two inch uh, steel pipe, which is very, very tough uh, material, but it's two inch interior diameter and not two inch exterior diameter, which is what I need. So what I've done is I bought a, a small section of really nice steel um, to act as a, a sort of an adapter. So it's a, it's a sleeve. I'm going to use this two inch interior diameter as a sleeve in which I insert this uh, smaller piece. And then the, the wind turbine will mount on top of, of that. And we have, uh, we have a three wire, um, good quality three wire copper uh, cable that we're going to be attaching to the wind turbine itself because uh, that is a three wire setup really really tiny little wires on this so i know it doesn't produce a ton of power this is really just to kind of augment when we really need it and then um i have some um some really tough wire uh, 250 feet of 12 2 that's going to be run between the adapter or the, I don't know, inverter, whatever the right technical term is for the box that controls the solar or the, um, the wind turbine. This will run to our battery bank. So we have uh, 24 volt batteries. We have a thousand amp hours of those and they're, uh, they're great batteries. And uh, this will run from the outside to where we store our batteries and hopefully we'll be ready to roll. You're like too big for me. Noogies. No, not noogies. <laughs> you better run. Oh, <laughs> now we got her involved. That's right. Protect me, Ray. Go get him. Get him. <laughs> rubber on there is going to fit perfectly. I mean, it's, uh, <laughs> it's actually a little bit, a little bit small, you know? You don't want to crimp any of these wires. That would be very bad. Yeah. Well, it's a good thing it comes with like a little rubber thing. We will take care of that after. Are you videotaping me? No, why would I do that? recording all this
we're going to take this steel pipe here and we're going to mount it on this structure for our solar which is right here next to the uh, camper and uh, plan is to attach this uh, short section of 4x4 to the 4x4 upright and have the pipe rest on top of it so that it won't fall down so this is this is about the height that it's going to go and then the pipe will extend above the solar panel structure and then the wind turbine will be free relatively uh to swing it won't impact anything but uh you know we we're kind of we're in a bowl we're in a valley so we only get wind in a few directions um so if we don't get wind from one of those directions and we won't get any power, but uh, generally speaking, we'll be in good shape. So. Okay, let's do it. A little bit. It's actually not so bad that it wobbles. I'm not, I'm not well, I just don't want it to shake the uh, whole frame. I hear you. It doesn't. The, the frame can have some flex. It's, it's okay. If you try to make things too rigid, then they That's usually shatter. Okay. So just to wrap up the installation of the Picasola 424 volt wind turbine, which I purchased on Amazon. Um, so installation is actually not too complicated. I would recommend reading the instructions before doing it, which I did, but I didn't pay close enough attention to it. Uh, one of the things that we totally spaced was a, adding the nose cone onto the the uh, blade assembly and we had it erected and up and spinning and suddenly realized it didn't have the nose cone which may or may not really effectively um it, it may not affect the production of power but it probably does prevent uh, snow accumulation on the on the uh, hub things like that so we, we decided to to run the ladder up to it and make it um you know make it uh air aerodynamic the uh the uh, blades have been running in as low as uh 10 uh, knots of wind which is actually pretty good uh, right now we don't have really any wind at all so we're not producing any power um, probably do a review of the power generation at a later date but as far as installation is concerned i'd give it a thumbs up um, a couple things i would point out one is you do not want to have a pipe that you attach it to so i have the version that has the uh sort of like the the pipe clamp uh, as a part of the the turbine assembly um you don't want anything more than two inches in outer diameter that's that's really important um you do want some good quality uh wire but uh you know the wires that come out of the generator uh housing are are pretty flimsy so i'm i'm thinking that I mean, you're not really pushing a lot of current, so you don't need anything like 10 gauge or less. I mean, we're I'm running 12 gauge uh, just to because it's kind of what I do anyways. But um, you you could probably get away with uh, 14, 16, 18. It, you're just not pushing that much power. Um, it's enough to to just kind of keep a little trickle charge on our batteries, but it's not going to be our our dominant form of power generation. That's it. Signing off from Cougar Ridge. Good luck.